Topping our news at 6, a 7-year-old girl dead after a fire engulfs a trailer home in Crossit. NBC 10's Gabrielle Pfeiffer spoke with neighbors who say it was devastating to watch. This is all that's left of a home that was completely destroyed in a fatal fire early Wednesday morning. Not even the car outside of the home was salvageable. I always wake up and go to the bathroom around 4.30 or 5 o'clock, and the house is open and covered. And I looked out the bathroom window and the trailer was in flames. Dewana Locke lives just feet away from where the scene unfolded. She woke up to this scene just outside of her kitchen window. And it, it burned to the ground real quick because it was a trailer. And I heard there was a little girl in there. The little girl was seven-year-old Taylor McKenzie Smith. The smoke and flames were too much to bear, trapping her inside. She would have been heading to the second grade this August. When you lose a child, that's... that's First responders with the North Crossed Fire Department felt the heat, too. This was their first fatal fire in over 20 years. One firefighter posting to social media saying being there and not being able to do anything to help this little girl is one of the worst feelings I have ever had in my career in law enforcement. This is still a developing story, and updates will be provided when information is available. Reporting in CrossFit, Gabrielle Pfeiffer, NBC10, your local news leader. Authorities have confirmed the little girl's death, but haven't released any other details regarding the fire. They hope to have some more information made public by Monday.